Hi everybody, happy Monday. Um, I'm going to go through the slides with you so that you can better understand them. I'm going through them before I add the uh, second slide with the link to this video. So for the rest of them, you'll notice that the second slide is not there, but don't worry, it will be there when you go to the slideshow because that's how you're watching this right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is Monday, April 20th. And obviously, the use every day you should be reading at least 30 minutes. All right, read for fun, enjoy it, get lost in a book. It would be really cool if your parents had to say that you need to stop reading because you're reading too much, which there's no such thing. But make sure you're reading every day. Table of contents, your learning goal, success criteria, and whoops, I'm going to do that right now. We are just going over Monday. So, Monday, April 20th. Your learning goal for the week. Students will find similarities and differences in details in order to write an opinion piece about how we earn money. Success criteria for reading. Students can retell key details after reading an informational text. Students can determine the main topic after reading an informational text. Students can identify key details in two different texts on the same topic. Students can identify similarities and differences in two texts on the same topic. And your success criteria for social studies. This week we're still working with economics, but we are going to be looking a little deeper into it. Students can give examples of natural and human resources used in production, such as making butter, making ice cream, and building houses. Students can describe the skills people need for their work in the home, school, and community. Students can describe how tools and products have affected the way people live, work, and play. All right, for Monday, same learning goal, your essential question. Why is it important to understand vocabulary? So today we're really focusing on vocabulary. Today we will watch a video and read a text in order to understand vocabulary by comparing and contrasting new words you learn from your reading. So these are words you're going to be looking for. With this first part, you're going to be looking for natural resources, human resources, and capital resources. For the second part, you're going to be looking for the words consumer and producer. Okay, so for the first part of this, you are going to watch a video. This video is very short. It's only four minutes, um, and it talks about what human resources are, natural resources are, and capital resources are. And so while you're watching this video, I want you to really pay attention to what those things are, okay? Then discuss with someone in your home what are natural resources. What are human resources? What are capital resources? Just tell someone who's um, at your house. It could be your dog. It could be your parent. It could be your brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever you are with, okay? Because I know you're not home alone. <laughs> All right, so once you um, have had that discussion, then you are going to do your first assignment for reading. Well, this is actually a social studies assignment. All right. So it says, please complete the resources sort activity on Google Classroom. You can also organize the pictures in categories in your notebook and take a picture to post on Google Classroom. If you are doing it in your notebook, my suggestion would be to make columns and just tell me what each picture is. Um, to make it easier, but it's really cool and easy to do on Google Classroom if you're able, and I'm going to show you how. So you're going to go to our Google Classroom, and you're going to find, now right now they're gray because I haven't posted them yet, but um, once they're posted, you'll see them. You're going to go to Social Studies 420 Resource Sort, and you're going to click on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to create lines that are going to go from the picture to the resource that it is, okay? So you're going to, now I need to be careful here, I don't want to give out any answers, but um, what you're going to do is you're going to match the picture 
to the resource. So actually, you know what? We'll do a hard one together. How about that? So this one I thought might was a little bit hard. It's actually, this is, for, you parents might know it, but for the um, first graders, this is coal, not my son. This is coal. It's a natural resource. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your line. So you're coming up here, clicking the line. It will do it for you. Whoops, I turned it off. Click it and you'll get this plus sign. You're going to go from here to here. And that is it. You have matched coal to natural resources. No one should get this one wrong because I just told you the answer. So when you do the next one or whatever one is next, you just go up each. This is the only part that's kind of annoying. Each time you have to go up and click the line. So if you're doing the next one, you do that. Hit it again. You do that. And do not copy these answers because I'm telling you right now, they are incorrect. So I'm even giving you a hint right now. So if you look, you have to go up and click the line each time and match the picture to what resource they are. So see, like I said, it's kind of fun. All right, so let's delete those because I don't want you guys to know them. If you have more questions about that, feel free to message me and I can help you with it. It is a little tricky, but once you get it, it's easy peasy. All right, let's go back to our slideshow. All right, so that's it. That's your social studies assignment for Monday. And now your reading assignment is actually from your packet that you received from um, the board. You're going to read the text, Consumers and Producers. I have a fun fact for you. This text is actually from Pebble Go. So to get this text to read along with it, you're going to click on this link, go to Pebble Go, and actually this is going to take you directly to the text. You're not going to have to do all that other stuff and go through um, and find the text. I already have it going directly there. All you have to do is log in with the username and the password. Okay, so um, you're going to click the link and you can follow along on Pebble Go or you can follow along on your text that's in front of you, whichever you choose. All right, after you finish that, you're going to talk about these two words. What are consumers? What are producers? Same thing. You're um, going to talk to someone around you, uh, whoever is around you. Tell them what you think. Talk about it. It makes it easier when you have a discussion and when you talk about it. So I really encourage this to happen. After you finish that, then you're going to complete the middle box. So you're going to use the Venn diagram in Google Classroom, or you can create one in your notebook to compare and contrast the different ideas about producers and consumers from what you read and information you think of. So if you go to Google Classroom, you're going to go to ELA 420 Venn diagram. It is there for you. I already have it labeled for you, so you've got producers and consumers, and I already have the text boxes for you. So this should be fairly simple. Um, just put in two differences for each, and then put in two similarities, okay? Easy peasy, um, and that is all for Monday. It might seem like a little bit more because there's two assignments, but um, it, it really shouldn't take you guys that long. And remember, if you need me for anything, I am here to help you. So feel free to reach out whenever you need me. All right. Thank you for tuning in to Monday and I will see you tomorrow or I will, you will hear me tomorrow for Tuesday.